Welcome to this tutorial on uh, Unity 3D C Sharp uh, AI, Artificial Intelligence. And this is the first one in a proposed series. Depending on how many people show an interest in it, I can continue it. Uh, this particular AI is on doing dialogues. And dialogues are an important part of most games. Dialogues are where the NPC and the PC have conversations. And hopefully they look intelligent. Uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you on uh, this tutorial how to make a simple dialogue, and then we can get more advanced dialogues as we go on. What I have here is I have a C-sharp program that I created called My Dialogue. I've attached it to the camera, and if I come down here, I can see that it's on the camera. And what, what the dialogue looks like, what we'll be covering, is let me go ahead and run this. And what I see here, I see... Greetings, friend. This right here is from the non-player character. Hello to you and say again and bye. These are choices that the player character can make. So let's say that the player character decides to say hello to you. So they click on that and the non-player character says welcome to this land. And now your option is well, you can say thank you or you can say say again or you can say bye. So you say thank you. He says, I see you are new here. He says, yes, I'm new here or say again and bye. I am Gandalf the Wizard. Nice to meet you. Click on that again. And he says, enjoy your journey. He says, thanks and take care. As I keep clicking on it, nothing changes. So I've come to the end of the conversation. Now what I can do, what I should be able to do in any conversation, is I could have it repeated. Let's say I forgot the name of this dude. Uh, hello, how are you? Welcome to the land. Thank you. Here I am. I am Gandalf the Wizard. Oh, that's who you are. When I'm finished with the conversation, when I no longer need it, I need an option to get out of it. So I'm going to say bye, and now the conversation disappears. Uh, let's look at this. I'm going to play it again. One of the things that you want in a dialogue is you want very short interactions. You don't want the, the, uh, the non-player character giving you a tons of information that takes you all kinds of time to read. Remember, you're developing a game that, that demands interaction. You're not writing a novel. You could be, it could be about a novel, but it should be broken up. So notice that all of this that the NPC said could have been said in, in maybe about uh, less than uh, half a dozen sentences. But that's not the way you want it. You want it so it could be interactive. Okay, so let's take a look and see of, of uh, how we did this. So what I'm going to do now is let me bring this up here. Let's bring the code up here. And uh, let me come all the way up here. If you, if you haven't taken my series of lessons on Unity 3D C Sharp, starting with Lesson 01, I suggest that you take that. Otherwise, some of the stuff may be uh, a bit confusing to you and uh, not as helpful. I, I put a link down at the bottom in the, in the area uh, that describes this video uh, of how you can go to the, to the first lesson. There's a series of 20 lessons. They're short and to the point. So here we have in our uh, C Sharp, our typical My Dialog. That's the class, which is also the name of the file. Now, what I've got here is I've got, I'm defining a string called NBC Talk. And it's a new string uh, that has an array of five strings. And, and anytime we have a sequence of, of things, we want to think of things as an array. Don't keep in mind that array comes from the word arrangement. So I'm going to have a series of five uh, strings, five arrays that the non-player character is going to say. I'm also going to have a string of five uh, 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 strings that are an array of five strings for the player character to talk. Don't worry about the uh, my index, my talking yet. We'll carry that. We'll cover that as we go through. What I've got here now is for each array element, and don't forget, all array elements in C sharp start with zero. So if I say I want five of them, they're going to go from zero to four. Uh, there is no uh, uh, there is no array uh, with an index of five. So the first one says, "Greetings, my friend." Welcome to this land. I see you are new here and so on. This is what you saw the NPC say. And this is under the start. This is where I'm initializing these values. That is what's going to be in the arrays. For the player character talk, 
uh, hello to you, so on and so forth. Notice that the index here, uh, an index, index of zero, matches an index of zero here. It's important that these in indices will match each other, and we'll see why that's true as we, we go on. If I look down here, I see this, and it, s it starts with, if my talking. Now, what does that mean? That means if my talking is true, then all of this will happen. And, and what is all that that's happening? Well, that's the rectangle that's going to be displayed. That's all the display stuff that we saw. And I'll go through that. So what does my talking, uh, what is my talking? If I look up here, uh, my talking is a Boolean type, which is either true or false. And it starts out true. Well, how do I make it false? I make it false by clicking on this on this button down here, the SCUI button, that says buy. Then my talking will be false and I'll lo no longer see it. You might say, well, what, where was that? Well, that's right here. That's this buy button. When it starts out, it starts out true. So all this stuff is shown, everything in here. When I click on it, um, it now becomes false and it's gone. So I have, I have to restart uh, I have to restart it again. So now uh, let's look at this. Uh, let's look at uh, my index, which is zero. Why is that my index important? Well, here's what I'm going to do. This is a GUI label, and this is a new rectangle. Uh, this is the x coordinate and the y coordinate. This is the uh, the width, and this is the height. And this is NPC talk my index. In other words, the first time this comes up, uh, my index is going to be a zero. So this will be NPC talk uh, zero. Well, what's NPC talk zero? It's this one, greeting my friend. And then the next one is the GUI button. Uh, and the GUI button is a, a new rectangle. This is PC talk my index. Well, PC talk my index will be what? PC talk will be sub zero. And what is that? That's hello to you. And let's see what that means. That means when this is greetings friend, this will be hello to you. And then when I click on it, I'm going to increment that index. And now it says welcome to the slant because now it's sub one in the index value. And let's see what that means coming back up here. Okay. So every time I go through this, uh, the index is incremented. Now notice there's an if statement there. If the index is greater than or equal to 4, then the index is going to stay at 4. This is why when you get to the end of it, you can't click it anymore. Now, if the index, if my index is not greater than or equal to 4, then we drop to this else statement, and then it'll increment my index, plus, plus. So if the GUI button, if I click on that, say again, what happens? It sets my index to 0. So this now starts all over again from the top. And if the GUI button uh, says goodbye, then it sets that to false. So let's see, let's see what's happening here. So if I come down here now and I say, say again, well, this reset the index to zero and it starts all over again. This is incrementing it each time because it's not four yet. As soon as it's four, it doesn't go anymore. If I say, say again, it sets the index to zero. If I say goodbye, then it sets the whole Boolean operator uh, to zero. So let me bring this up. If you wish to copy this, uh, I hope you can see the whole thing. There's the bottom part of it. I'll go sort of slow here. And there's, there's the uh, top of it. Okay, I hope you found this somewhat useful to get you on your journey. If I get enough interest in this, I'll be happy to go along with some more uh, AI, which I have to warn you gets... Uh, uh, fairly complex, and my suggestion is is that you have some background in uh, Unity C Sharp. Uh, and one of the places you could get it is on the video series I did on Unity 3D C Sharp uh, uh, Lesson uh, 01. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you for watching.